I'm Adrian Mullins. I'm a producer, I'm a Leo, and I enjoy all things artistic, museums, art festivals, live music, and I think friendships are very important, more so than what I thought when I was younger, and I just really appreciate the value in having genuine friendships. All right, let's take three, do best. Two more. So it's recording? 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 Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, so I don't remember how we connected. I feel like it was LinkedIn, though. It was LinkedIn. I feel like we've been connected for a long time, and like we kind of talked a little bit yes. on LinkedIn. Because you were, tell me about, like, I, I was trying to remember when I was like preparing the question. Yes. So I, I think I told you, so my home, my friend. Yes, you did tell me. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. yeah, so when I had first, I think before I moved to L.A., and I was looking for like production students. He's like, yeah, there's, have you heard of Third and Wonder? Yes, yes, so I yes. found it on LinkedIn, so connected. Yes. And then you came, I'm so glad you came to the screening. Yes. Because you got to see the film and God had put it on my heart anyway to like speak with you more and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, at the screening is where I found out that you had had your own friendship breakup. And I knew that we were doing this series. And so mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, you know, will you be a part of it? So I'm glad that you were willing to share your story. Absolutely. Like, what happened with your friendship breakup? Well, here's the thing. I've had like a weird relationship with friends from like elementary. And mm. I will say like most like those school relationships, my friends left for like real juvenile reasons. So like I don't put any fault on that, but it did change my perspective on like how I see friends. How do you see them? How do you, how do you think you saw them then and how do you see them now? Or how did you like how did that change your perspective? Yes. So like I said, because they left like, you know, they decided to like not be my friends anymore. Mm -hmm. I got real comfortable being by myself and not like depending on friends. Mm -hmm. So according to like my mentor, I lacked a lot of intimacy. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm like, I'm not going to get that deep with y'all because y'all about to leave like my other friends. Right. So that's how it shifted. And so, you know, as I gotten older, I have to like reformat how I view friends because mm -hmm. I would just like I wouldn't say shut out completely. But yeah, I it took a lot for me to trust friends. I, you know what? I feel like I can understand that because I feel like in elementary school and middle school, girls used to be like, well, I'm not going to talk to you today. And then now nobody's talking to me and now I'm all alone. Right. Seriously. So I, so I definitely understand that. So do you, did you see that influence the friendship breakup that you had that we're talking about today? I probably more than I realized. And it may have been like the opposite. Okay. Like, you know, I think because I so desperately wanted like that friend group. I think I put like too much on it and then that's like what caused the strain. Okay, tell me about it. Like, tell me what you mean by that. Well, so I think like an attachment type situation. So because I went too far over to the left, like when I got, became an adult and started having, you know, deeper friendships, I guess, you know, like putting a lot of like my emotional, like, you know, maybe sharing too much and like, mm. Now, looking on it now, like, you know, not allowing people the mental capacity to say, hey, I know you got a lot going on, but I'm not in the space for it. And so I think that put a lot of the strain on the relationship because it's like you coming at me with a lot of a lot of stuff that mm -hmm. I can't handle. And now, like, I'm, you know, I'm just going to dip. I'm just going to go. How do you know that it was a strain like on their end? Is it something they communicated or how did that work out? She did. But I feel like almost like relationships, I feel like by the time she had said something in her head, she was already done. Mm. So there was almost nothing I could do oh, by that, that point. And we're talking about Ariel because Ariel's here with us and she's going to share her story, too. So I wanted to let the audience know that 
we are talking about Ariel so that they can know, you know. Well. Oh, this is a different friend. This is a different friend, but. Oh, we got to talk about Ariel too Yes, Ariel is connected. Oh, yes, yes, okay. Yes. So how is she connected then? So they, so me and Ariel are, are friends from college. Okay. And I've known her since my first year in college. And then this particular friend came to the school after I had graduated, but mm -hmm. she hung out with our friend group. Okay. So she became friends with Ariel. Okay. And then um, they, beca they became friends. To watch the full episode and more episodes in this series, join our growing community of Black women at watchchannel9.com.